gallon water tanker. Good thing I'm not claustrophobic because I had to crawl inside this thing and clean it. No. Yeah, way. Because <laughs> the thing about it is, not only am I the CEO of my company, I'm also responsible for the water quality. So I have to make sure that anything that touches the water that I produce, it meets or exceeds, not meets, exceeds federal standards. It has to make meet my standards. Rescue. So, we'll come and so, <laughs> so I've squirreled away a couple thousand gallons of water. And I'm sorry. That's okay. So this is the water that's, I like clean water. that's in the tank. I'm from Flint. I love clean water. It's okay. Oh, I feel so good. I just want to so, taste it. All, all this water that's in this tank right now, this is my spare water. That so, tastes tastes good. So when that so when that unit starts to run down during the day, when there's such a high demand on it, right. I just hook my pipe here. I got my little pump in the back of the car. Sit in here. Tie into the this side of the filter on this side shut that valve and I pump the water back into the tank. So it's been filtered twice now before it goes to anybody. So this is this is my reserve when I have a big demand on water. So every day I try to throw 500 gallons in here. So one thing you have to remember, I'm, I'm one man with one machine, one tank, and I'm supplying a significant portion of this island with water. Now, if you had 10 of me doing the same thing, you supply the whole island with water. And if you had me, one person, with this setup over in Puerto Rico right now in a town, they could supply that town with water. All you need is this and that. And one person can do it. You know, it's gotta be an old school person that's not afraid of a little bit of work. But, right. You know, you can get it done. Because I've been doing it. I'm actually responsible since I've started this company. I've made well over one million gallons of water. Amazing. Well over one million gallons. I've produced that myself. Yeah, run it. Yeah. Have the guy sit in a little travel trailer or something. Just run it and make water. And if it's too cold where you're at, go drive south until you find the right temperature where you can make water. So did you say this is a FEMA funded project? Or? No, this is a Moses West funded project. I'm a 100% disabled vet and uh, service connected, first Gulf War. And uh, I used my military retirement to pay for this. Uh, yeah. Donations from friends, donations from the website, but uh, mainly uh, I, I gotta, I have to maintain some kind of buffer there. So basically, right now I'm running this whole operation on my on my my retirement. So y'all paying me, your taxes pay me, my taxes pay, my income pays for this. So basically, indirectly, y'all are, you know, you're getting the service of it. You got my services in the military. Now I'm kind of giving back, I guess. So, 